Tech is progressing really fast, so if you're looking for a NAS, then better look for a future-proof one with the possibility to expand features and so on. Now a device like this is of course a bit more expensive than a low-spec NAS, but in the long run it is totally worth it. And in this video I want to show you the future-proof NAS. This is the Lockhurst Tor 4 Gen 2 by Asus Tor, and the way we got this was basically by asking ourselves what is the best value NAS that is affordable but also has top of the line features and is future proof as well. So this has 2.5 gigabit ethernet right out of the box and this is already considered future proof, but you can also easily upgrade it to 10 GBE someday in the future when you need it thanks to the PCIe expansion port. And aside from that, it has quite a lot of processing power and also many other awesome features that I will show you in just a bit. What's also important aside from a good NAS are of course good plates. So for this system we will use Iron Wolf NAS HDDs and as the name implies they are specifically designed and made for a NAS systems. 24-7 runtime no problem. They also feature the plus rescue data recovery and are super affordable by now especially for what they offer. Best budget friendly future proof NAS right here. Best plates for it right here and all of that will be listed and linked in the description of course so check it out. So this is good hardware and if you're looking for a good software then check this. If you're sketched out by secondhand software keys but still want to save a lot of money when you buy software this is it. Softwarekeep.com is a Microsoft certified partner who sells only 100% genuine software but for a way better price. As you can see for Windows 10 you can save around 50% for Windows 11 around 40% and with our coupon code techmagnet20 you can save an additional 20% on top. So if you don't want to get ripped off by Microsoft any longer, then buy from softwarekeep.com. 100% genuine, 24-7 customer support all year round. Any questions that you have, whether pre-sale or post-sale, they will answer all of them. And also they don't use annoying chatbots, by the way, they use well, they employ real people, you will talk to real people. And their number one goal is to give their customers the very best service. And that also shows in their review stats as well, because as you can see, over 100,000 customers are rated five stars and more on all sorts of platforms, Google reviews, reseller ratings, Trustpilot and more. And the best thing about this service is that they offer lifetime year round protection for all purchases. And this is not the case with Microsoft. Look at that, Microsoft pricing and their pricing. Absolute no brainer if you ask me. They offer both a lifetime and also subscription products from a one user license all the way up to enterprise licenses, MS Office, Windows, antivirus, you name it. Tons of payment options as well. Super fast delivery in 30 minutes or less. So check it out for yourself. First link in the description. And again, use our coupon code TECHMAGNET20 for an additional 20% off at checkout. Got the new drip from Asus Tor. This is the Lockhurst Tor 4 Gen 2. And of course the best plates for it, Seagate Iron Wolf NAS HDDs. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box, that's the front, that's the side, that's back, it's just black and white with the logo and this side right here. Cross-platform support, we have mobile apps for Android and iOS, Asus Tor Data Master, tons of lifestyle apps. You can also use this for surveillance applications to store the, you know, the footage and it's also definitely easily powerful enough for business applications. But yeah, let's just open it up. And by the way, on top we have a nice carrying handle right here and also all the QR codes for the quick start guides. Online help, support, the forum, Facebook group and even a college. So let's take out the padding. Then we get a box with the accessories and then of course the NAS itself. Other than that, the box is empty. So the housing without the plates is a rather light. But before we get to it, let's of course check out the accessories and the manual. So here we have the box and inside the box we of course have the cable for the outlet as always, good length to it. And then of course the power brick to power the NAS, that's the connector right there. And here we have all the details on the power brick, this side, this side with the status LED. And then we also have all of that 
and the quick start guide right here. And this will just unfold. And here we can see how to insert the hard drives. We also get all the QR codes. And this is for all the Asus Tor or for several Asus Tor NASes, it seems. Yeah, totally. We have this this and this is the one that we actually have so we have this and this of course it's an it's a rather easy install nothing to it good manual and then we of course also get all the screws that we need to insert the drives and lastly we also get two ethernet cables good stuff there we go all wrapped up so let's get rid of it so there we go looking beautiful and that's the front of course from the back, from the top, from the bottom, and of course, the sides right there. All right, let's go. So done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So there we go, really awesome. We have a few wraps left right there. Also this. So nice looking front side, black on black, metal housing, big nice fan on the back, connectors on the back, four nice rubber feet on the bottom. Right, let's take a close look. So on the front we have the brand, we have the power button and two status LEDs right here. We also have two down here for the ethernet ports and then also one down here. You can, this is actually a button with a USB port right here. So for an external drive, Just plug it in and you can back it up on the NAS. Then we of course have the display and four buttons, up and down, back and enter. Locker store right there. And of course we have the four trays and they are currently unlocked, right? Yep. So press this, ah, then it will just pop open and also self eject. That's a nice mechanism, I like it. And then you can just grab it, pull it out. And here we have one of the trays. Looking good, really neat mechanism. And in here it looks like a spaceship with all the connectors in there. Now it's even lighter of course. So we have a nice aluminum body right there, four rubber feet on the bottom. Nice padding, great stability, it's stuck. Then we have this on the top, which is also the brand pattern, so really nice little feature right there. More air holes on the, on the other side and on the back. We have a nice huge fan. We have the two ethernet ports, another USB port, HDMI, DC in, this little hole for the reset, and we can also strap it somewhere, wrap something through this hole. Yeah, and the discs, of course, they will go in here, but I won't show that. I will do the install off camera because it's just so simple. But yeah, the mechanism is really cool. And you can also lock them with these little screws. Just turn them to the, okay, it's, my nail is not strong enough, but you can just turn them to the left to lock, to lock it in place. And we also have LED indicators. Alrighty, I like it. Not bad, right? So let's set it up. Two reasons why to use Seagate HDDs. Reason number one, IHM, Iron Wolf Health Management. Not all NAS systems support this feature, but the Asus Tor of course does. IHM is basically an advanced health screening tool, prevention, intervention, and recovery if necessary. I will list this resource in the description below, check it out for yourself. And as I said, all Asus Tor devices support this amazing feature. On the website you can also check out which HD support this feature and also how to access this feature. Detailed stats and graphs, IHM is basically the new hot stuff out there and here you can see why it's even better than smart. When you click the second link you can find out more about IHM and what exactly it is, how it works and all of that good stuff. So with IHM you already have the next level safety standard so it's very unlikely that something will go wrong but if so here we have the second reason why to use Seagate HDDs. Seagate has an amazing data rescue service and it will come standard for three years for all the Iron Wolf and Iron Wolf Pro HDDs. So IHM for your peace of mind and and Rescue Plus for peace of mind squared. When the unthinkable happens, you basically send them in, they will recover your data, no issues whatsoever. 95% success rate. So that's why Asus Tor and Seagate is a perfect combination and Seagate is highly recommended from my side. The first step is to turn on the NAS, then it will ask you if you want to initialize it, of course click yes, and then it will ask you if you want to 
delete all the data. Just click yes. It won't matter if the plates are empty anyways. And after it's done, it will show you the IP on the display and then type it in. Type in your IP in just in the browser and then also add this. This is for the SSL and then slash portal so that you can access the login basically. And then you will end up here without this of course. Accept the risk and continue. And then you will end up right here on the login screen. So here we can see the NAS. We also have a little help right there, online support and FAQ, but it's actually quite simple and intuitive. The login is just admin and the password is admin as well. So let's sign in. And the first thing will be to agree that you're responsible for yourself. So the system HTTP port is 8000 and the one that we just accessed is of course 8001. You can also change it, but that's fine. So let's agree and let's go. And this is it right out of the box. That's the OS. So we have our user up here, personal. Here we can change the password, change the language, volume, theme. Then we also can put it to sleep, restart it, power off, and of course sign out. Here we have notifications. Then we have tools right here. Storage manager, activity monitor, online users, and important logs. So that's interesting activity monitor, of course. There we go. We also have a search and also preferences right there. There we can check out the settings for all the apps, for all the services, and also access control. This button right here is to show the desktop basically, and these are the settings. We can also access them when we just click the settings, of course. And yeah, as you can see, there is quite a lot that you can change that you can set up. We have the hardware, and here we can even set up the LED brightness. Actually, I will set this to zero. We can change the sound, everything, and of course, I forgot to click apply. We have the notification center, certificate manager, ADM update. I'm not connected to the internet by the way, so some functionalities won't work. I don't plan to connect this NAS to the internet for safety reasons. I will store my personal data on it and it's just my home network, no internet. So we have the recycle bin, scheduling options, we also have easy connect and for this we need the cloud ID but I'm not interested in that but you can basically access this NAS from all over the world. You just need the program or the app and then you can access your data from anywhere. We also have manual connect, factory reset of course and registration. So right here access control, we can add or remove local users or groups, manage shared folders. Again the activity monitor, it's basically like task manager, drive usage and settings right here. We have an app store basically, we have online help, backup and restore, external devices, as you can see top notch features all across the board. Here in the file explorer we can also create new folders and manage all of that. System information, fan speed, system temperatures, all of that good stuff and we also have a doctor that can check for the system health and also many other things. So let's set up the rate. Oh this is actually already rate 5. Wait what's that? So this one is missing. One second. So we are back with all four drives. I just took out the tray and reinserted it. Bad connection, but now it's here. So we have the volume one. Let's actually remove this. Let's see. Right, there we can see all the different options. RAID 5 is best, in my opinion. That's why I will use it. Of course, we want to use all four drives. I think the automatic setup only used three of them. And we can also check this checkbox if you want to support snapshot backups, but I'm not interested in that either. So just RAID 5 with all four disks, we can lose up to one disk, then it will restore itself, so that's fine. So let's click on finish and let's go with the admin password, admin, and there we go. So there we go, that took around four minutes, so it's quite fast and that's what I like to see. So that's correct, that's correct. Utilizing all four drives and there is also the option to add up to four M2 SSDs and with that you can take it again to a whole other level. So as you saw the setup is super quick and simple and lastly we have the folders right here. We have home public web. So in the home let's create a folder. No let's just call it test for now. And lastly let me show you how you can map a network drive. As you can see I have two network drives right here. I have a backup and a videos drive that's already running drive. So let's connect to the new NAS, right click and then click add network location. Then we will end up right here and then we just type in the same IP. So first of all, two backslashes, then the IP from the NAS and slash home. Let's see next, but we will need to enter the network credentials, of course, admin and admin, your username and your password and then remember the credentials. Then we can choose a name. That's fine. We can rename this later and finish. We have this NAS right here and we have this thing right here. We can rename it to home basically, for example. 
And when we open it, we will end up right here where we have the other folders. So when I go back to the file explorer in the NAS operating system and create another folder, then create test two, then it will show up immediately right here. Okay, so that's one way to add a basically a shortcut, but I actually don't like this way because check it out, it's now a folder. I want a drive. Don't click on add a network location. Up here, click on computer and then map. You can see it, it's so stupid, but click on map network drive. That's what we want. So let's go for T because test and again, double backslash IP and let's also go for test. Click on finish. The credentials got remembered by the way. Now check this out. We have the backup, we have the videos and now we also have the test network drive, not a network location. I like, I like it way better this way. And we can rename it to just test. Almost 22 terabytes free. So yeah, lots and lots of more space for more awesome tech magnet videos, of course. So yeah, awesome NAS, awesome operating system, simple intuitive setup, mapping drives is a breeze and great experience all in all. Big thumbs up from my side. So here we go, three amazing features that are somewhat hidden, but you definitely need to know about them. And at the end, I will also give you two bonus secrets. So the first feature is called My Archive. If you only have one NAS, but a lot of HDDs, you only need one Asus Tor NAS and you can plug one HDD in, store stuff on it, and then take it out, put it in your drawer, take another one, put it in. So with this, you can basically use HDDs like USB drives, just plug them in, insert them into the NAS, access the data, and when you're done, pull it back out and store it. And they call it My Archive Base. And now they also support BTRFS and snapshots. So this is the first resource. It will be listed and linked in the description, of course. Automatic backups, sharing, all of that good stuff. The second feature is you can replace an online file sharing service with your NAS. For example, we transfer, you have limits, you have size limits and also time limits. With your Asus Tor NAS, you won't be limited in any way. That's the second linked resource, how you can create share links, how to share data. And the best thing, well, you can actually set expiration dates as well. Super detailed tutorial right here. The best thing is you can also up, well, a third party can also upload to your NAS. So you can share files, but you can also receive files. Then they will, of course, get stored on your NAS and then you can directly access them. How cool is that? This is basically an FTP service for free. And the third amazing feature is the Ease Connect desktop app. So when you hook up your NAS to the internet, you can basically access it from all over the world. Actually, there are many, many apps. We have the Control Center, the Easy Connect, Download Assistant, Backup Plan, and also the Easy Sync. And with these apps, you can access, control, upload, download files to your NAS from all over the world. You just need a stable connection. And that's definitely a must know feature. And with these apps, you can easily control all of that, set it all up, super intuitive and easy to use. And you can also do all the aforementioned things with these programs. So let's get to bonus feature number one. Although I have to say, I've never used this. So you can insert M.2 SSDs in your Asus Tor NAS and the system will recognize which files and which data will get used on a regular basis and then it will cache it on this SSD. And this of course has blazing fast speeds so you can upgrade your speed, read and write speed immensely if you plug in an M.2 SSD. Super easy to do but I'm editing 4K videos from my NAS system and it's not even necessary. Even without it, it's super fast but yeah, just that you know, <laughs> you can make it even faster. And the second bonus feature, as you can see right here, with your Asus Tor NAS, you will also get a very advanced snapshot and backup center. And this will be the last resource that I will listen link in the description. And here you can find out all about backup plans and how a snapshot works and how easy and nice it is. But again, this is also a feature that I don't use, but this, for example, makes total sense for businesses or backing up folders that get modified a lot so that you can skip back and revert to a previous version in time. For me, with editing videos, this is not really necessary, but for example, for office tasks or office jobs, then you will always have the backlog and you can always skip back to a previous version so that you will never lose data even from previous versions. So definitely another must know. So there we have it. And that of course only scratches the surface. There is so much more to Asus Tor. So definitely check out their website and all of their resources. There are tons of it. There is a lot to learn and a lot that you can do with your Asus Tor NAS. Asus Tor and Seagate, best combination. The NAS performs like a beast right out of the box without any upgrades. So this is already future proof, but you can of course upgrade it 
a lot more. You can 4x the speed to be specific. 2.5 to 10, pretty massive upgrade. So this should easily last you years to come, possibly even decades. Definitely a great device all in all and also quite affordable if you ask me, especially for what you will get. Easily suitable for home use and also easily suitable for small to medium businesses and also definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.